Hello viewers, welcome again to Dog TV Kenya, best documentary channel for dog lovers. Karibu. Uh, and today we'll be coming back to my kennel, Red Hill Kennels at Limuru, Kenya. And I'll take you around to, to get to see what we have today. Uh, we've done some new improvements, we've got new visitors here, but I'm still with the Black Shepherds and I've improved and I've increased the number of uh, Belgian Malinois around this area. I'll be showing you the puppies, I'll be showing you the, the, the St. Bernards, I'll be showing you uh, the, 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 the new gang in the, uh, in the kennel, Karibu Sana. So over here uh, we've got Kate and we've got Paige, uh, the two sisters, one the long coat and the other one the short coat. They are docile family logs and I just put them inside because uh, I have guys working around the farm. But they are very, very friendly. But I can switch them uh, on to being guard dogs. But I prefer them as, a, as friendly dogs. Just to be warm and welcoming around my place. Uh, and over here, next to Paige and Kate, we have the, the newcomer. She's called Nala. Hey Nala. Hey Nala. What's that pretty? Yeah, I got her, I got her uh, three weeks ago. She's a Belgian Malinois. And uh, yeah, apparently she was nursing puppies and after she'd finished nursing puppies and I got her from, from a friend. I intend to train her and uh, more or less get her working as a service dog. She's got good ball drive, play drive and she's got good focus. Nala, good girl, good girl. We normally bought some uh, small dogs around here. So we've got the noisy uh, Maltese over there. We've got this uh, mix of Maltese and Spitz, uh, all of which are here just for a while. I'll be bo I've been boarding them for like uh, a couple of uh, a couple of days, yeah. So if you've got dogs that you need to like uh, been taken care of, been taken care of when you guys are away, you can uh, you can visit my place. The, the facility is always open for as as many dogs as possible. And here we've got some two lovely puppies. Hey buddy, yeah. So we've got Zulu's Zulu's daughters. There's a the sable puppy. And there's a bicolor small girl, the smallest sister and the big sister. Uh, she's here, she's back here for boarding. The, the owners have traveled, Kiasi, so they brought her back. She's called Coco. Hey, Coco. Hey, Coco. Yes, good girl. Yeah, so we've got Coco and the sister over there. Yeah. Back at Nala's cage. So guys wonder how one can get a, a mature Malinois and a keeper a conditioned in such a manner. Okay, first thing, first thing first, I am a trainer. And uh, you can easily tone down the, the temperament of a dog or pu push it as high as you want if you need a guard dog. But for my case, I, I wanted her for training. I wanted her for detection work. I wanted her, I wanted her smart, not just for attacks and all that. So the first thing I did when I brought her here, I put her away and uh, I first introduced her to my nephews and my niece. Just to see how, just to see how she, she'll actually react to kids. And she was quite okay. And I could assess her for the first week, the second week, and right now I'm 100% confident that she she's stable-minded. So you can always get a Malinoa, but you have to be very, very careful. I'll be honest with you. You have to be very careful uh, about the temperament, the, the history of the dog. She was a family dog from where, she, from where I got her. She stayed with the family, so she's okay with the family. And if I were to get a, a bigger Malinois, say a male, a mature that is probably a service dog from a, maybe a security company, I'd have to consider that kind of dog as a guard dog, so I, pro I wouldn't probably risk having that dog outside. But for Nala, Nala is something else. And, uh, and the reason as to why I got Nala, uh, she's a direct sister to my Malino called Mara. And I'll be showing you Mara and her puppies. Mara's got some lovely 12 puppies. She got them like uh, five days ago. Yeah. So I loved the sister. And more or less because of her coat, she's got a, a, a dark, a dark color to her, to her mane, to her, to her coat, and I appreciate the complex. Yeah, so yeah, that is it. The new Malino and how I got her, and how she's been behaving. Uh, I'll probably gonna show you some ball drive that uh, I've actually seen. She's got some good ball drive, and uh, that ball drive will be the one we'll be using for uh, training her either into like uh, sniffing, searching, uh, uh, narcotics work, just scent work. Yeah, pseudo, pseudo, pseudo scent and all that. Yeah, in the near future, when you, you guys come back, you'll find her uh, ready for work. And uh, and after I'm done with her, by the way, uh, I won't keep her here. I will look for something for her to do. I'll probably hire her out, and uh, uh, she'll be used as a service dog. So I'll still have her here, but she'll still be doing something worth it with her life, rather than just staying here and giving birth. Yeah, she'll be a good service dog. Nice girl. Yeah, so let's walk on to her sister and the puppies. We are at uh, 
Mara's residence. She's my she's my first Malino. You got her from the previous video, and she's my magnificent swimmer. She loves to swim, and uh, she enjoys the water. And right now she's got babies. She's got uh, a whole dozen. Yes, here she is. She's a good mom. She just she just finished her nyama. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you as a as you zoom in. I'm gonna show you how the puppies look like. Yeah. Yeah, this this guy will definitely look like the mother. Yeah, we've got this uh, beautiful uh, beautiful sable brown. We've got the darker the darker sable the darker malino color, and we've got this dark 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 girl. And this one, I'll I'll surely retain this girl. I want to see how she turns out. She's beautiful. She's got a beautiful black to her. Yeah, probably keep this one in there. In the near future, when you come to visit. You'll probably find out when she's big and all that. They are four. They are four or five days old. Yes, still small. Yeah, very promising. And the father is a good working dog. He's called Blake. So this is a combination between Blake and Mara. A good one. Yeah, another one. They're quite sleepy. Just second from their mom. Yes, Mara. Good, good mama. Good, good mama. Yes. Yeah. And uh, and over here you can see the chicken, uh, the warm bulb. We need this one. We're in Limuru. This is a very very cold place. Eh? It gets uh, almost to 11 degrees to 8 degrees at night. So uh, we make sure we are we have them heated uh, to avoid pneumonia attacking and uh, striking the puppies. We've had uh, we've lost several puppies from pneumonia, uh, but fortunately, fortunately we are able to like curb the cold by simply getting this bulb this bulb works wonder so it's gonna be on for for the next uh, 21 days or so just making sure the puppies are warm and uh, they're getting enough milk and the mom is comfortable yeah because when they are fed and they are warm that's all you need yeah the cold is very dangerous for puppies yeah so that's why you notice this home bulb i just push pull push uh, look for the nearest connection uh, for electricity and i just i did this myself it's very easy just get a plank Fit the bulb. Uh, I just put this paper because of the shots. I didn't want the mom getting electrocuted because of the small nuts over here. Just the paper, just to insulate. Yeah, and the rest is okay. So you, are, the puppies are warm. The mom is okay. They're safe and all that. Yeah. I've shown you the black German Shepherd. I've shown you. I've told you about the white German Shepherd. Now I'm gonna show you the the sable German Shepherd. This guy is a sable. He just wants to get out and run. So you, as you can see, his color. He's got. He's got black. And he's got brown on the inside. Yeah, he's a he's a good dog. He's very natural. He's a strong dog. He's a working dog. He's a sport dog. He's he's known as the, the sable is known to be uh, one of the best working lines. Because anyone everyone who's got a sable that's a working line. It looks more. It looks closely like a kienyeji because uh, they have this uh, slight slant. They've got almost a flat back, and they they can actually keep working for long. And uh, I've been using Zulu for breeding with the girls, the black girls I've shown you. And uh, he'll give me black, full black puppies. He'll give me sable puppies. He'll give me black and tan puppies. He can actually give you an array of three, three varieties of dog. He can give you a dog that looks like him. He can give you a full black. He can give you a black and tan. And uh, and that's the thing, because I want a dog that can give me a variety when it comes to like uh, checking out my puppies. And he's a playful, he's a playful younger. He loves to swim. Uh, the last episode he was swimming. Uh, today we wouldn't let him swim. It's a bit cold. Nakuna baridi sana. So I'm avoiding him. Uh, I'm avoiding him getting wet and uh, not to get him sick because we need him healthy and all that. Yeah, so stay in. Stay buddy. And next to Zulu is my old time girl, Tabitha. Tabitha up. Tabitha, stay. Sit. Stay. 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 <laughs> yeah, I've had, uh, I've had this one for uh from 2018 from 2018 i've had her and she's the mother of my blacks she she's given uh, birth to uh, three bla uh, three blacks uh, kate page and i have another black uh, boy who's at uh, ngong i avoid keeping uh, males who are related to my females because of accidental mating i have my dogs playing a lot so you can 
you can never be sure. So I make sure I have a, a, a third male that is nowhere closely related to my females. Uh, so this is the old mama. I've lived with her in, her, in my house for uh, for quite some time, and she yeah she loves uh, she loves people. She's friendly. Uh, but she's she's quite sensitive. She can actually bark at intruders, but I, I've never let her bite anyone. I prefer my dogs uh, chilled and uh, and composed because I have a lot of friends coming by. I uh, don't want the cases whereby they've beaten a friend. Yeah. So she's Tabitha. She's a she's a black and tan uh, with a beautiful black mask. She's got this black. Watch. Yes. <laughs> she's got this black face of hers. Yeah. Stay. 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 Stay, stay. Uh, she wants to get out. Hey, stay, stay. Yeah, good girl. And over here we've got, and over here we've got Mina. Mina is not a guy. Mina is my my young male black. I've kept him because uh, I, I I intend of use, uh, using him in the near future. He's got good structure. He's his son to Zulu, the sable you've seen. And the mother is uh, the mother is Paige, the long coat German Shepherd. Uh, Marina is six months old. Uh, good dog. He just loves to be uh, he just loves to be petted, and uh, he's a he's a promising stud dog because of his confidence. He's as he's just as confident as his father. Zulu has actually taught him some few things. Yeah, he's ne he'll never shy of shy of or look away from anyone. He loves people. He wants to like play around. He plays rough. He wants to tag around. But I won't I won't allow him to be a guard dog. I won't like uh, get him to the point whereby he's aggressive. So whenever I need him to mate, uh, the the female and or whoever brings the female is confident and comfortable with my male. He's not a, a curly male. He's just playful. Hello buddy. Hello buddy. Yes. Zulu, yeah. You get it. Fetch. Zulu. <coughs> Boy. Yes. Back. 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 He's very active. He's very active. Yes. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Stay. Come on, get it. Sit. Hey, stay. Good boy. Sit. In. Good boy. Yeah, that's Zulu. Hmm? Yes. Here. Check that. Hey. Rrr. Sit. Good girl. You want this? You want this? Come on. Sit. Stay. Stay. Stay there. Get it. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Just let her run around, Kidogo. Up IV, we've got Mina. Mina, the young boy. You can come outside. Hey, Mike. Yeah, he just ran off. He's excited. He's a puppy. Play, play around, Kidogo. Yeah. <laughs> Hello guys, uh, now we are the, we're the big dogs uh, section of the kennel and over here is, uh, is one of my oldest and smallest Jack Russell, she's called Tiny. Hey Muni. Hey. And uh, over here I got, her, I got her, this boy and uh, yeah, yeah he's, uh, he's quite active and they are best known for hunting down rats. I'll show you an example of a rat they killed inside their kennel. They are, they are rodent eradicators. So over here is Moon. Uh, I got I got him from a friend of mine. Uh, I, I intend to breed him with uh, with, with one, one of my females. You you can see the the female is quite tiny, and this guy is big, but she can manage. Uh, when they get puppies, the puppy, puppies will uh, be of average size. So people ask, what kind of small dogs are these? Uh, these dogs are not just pets. They're one of the best uh, rodent eradicators, and I will show you inside their cage. When the, when the rats are lured inside because of the smell of the biscuits and the dog rice, uh, these guys hunt them like crazy. They just eradicate any kind of rodent they see. So I'm going to show you, uh, unfortunately, it's a rat that's been mauled by these small guys. Yeah. So over here, 
Uh, this is the unfortunate turn of event. This right tried uh, coming and eating the the dog rice with milk. So uh, the guys got to him first. Uh, so they are best known for uh, hunting down rats. If you have got rat problems, the Jack Russell is your dog. Hello. So this is the couple, and I'll shock you by size. This big boy. In, in. This big boy. Mara. This big boy is uh, one year now, and the girl, and this girl here, this girl here is three years old. <laughs> Girls are like, hey, three years? Yes, three years. And she's a darling. She's very lovely, and she's very soft. And yeah, she 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 just jump for hugs and uh, yeah, yeah. You happy? You happy? Yeah. And this boy, this boy is always a boy. Yeah, very rough. Yes. <laughs> and she she disciplines the boy, <laughs> the big boy at, at some time, and she's very jealous. When it comes to sharing the affection, yeah. Uh, this is my, I call her Tiny Milo, and this is Moon. Moon! Moon! Moon buddy, come. And now we go to the Dutch and the St. Bernard's. Karibu sana. And now we are at the facility where but we've got some Dutch. Uh, they're chilling out with some Mali. I've got some two brother Mali noise and uh, a couple of Dutch shepherds, four Dutch shepherds here. Uh, they, are the, they are the four Dutch sisters. Yeah, so... I'm trying to socialize them and train them. They are one of the super craziest dogs around. And you can see they team up and they can actually put one, one dog down. They are six months old. And they, 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 are, they are bullying the Malino now. <laughs> They're just being mean. These, these dogs are, uh, to be honest, they are savage dogs. They are high, highly, highly sensitive and aggressive. And uh, they'll, they'll do that until they get tired. Or they'll just mow that guy down. So what are they used for? They are used for tracking by the KWS. They're one of the best agility dogs. Their power is packed uh, much to the Malinois. But you can see they are fierce. They are more fierce compared to, to the Malinois. You can see how they are bullying and pushing this Malinois aside. And, and these young Dutchies, can, you can see they are smaller. But they are fierce and they are fierce and they are fierce. And uh, what are they used for? Personal protection dogs. If you have a Dutch, if you have a Dutch shepherd, you have your own Ascari. These guys will, will defend you to the last call. Uh, I, I want to introduce them to some agility tests, uh, obstacle training, and uh, after a few lessons, uh, three of them will be released. They are guys who are their potential clients who are actually going to get them, but they are said to be a little bit expensive. They are more expensive. It's because they are rare and because they are unique. Yeah. So don't let them fool you. Uh, if I go inside there, they will rip my, my pants open, as they did here. They chewed my trousers, they chewed. So they just look for something they can bite on, and they hang on to it. So I'll, I'll show you uh, some tag, tag biting, and you'll see how they will respond. I'll just do it from the outside. Uh, but I don't encourage you uh, increasing aggression uh, to the puppies, as they may get uncontrollably wild. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you can eventually have to like put them down or give them away. Yeah, they are one of the best, best, best tracking dogs used by the KWS in the world. Uh, they are hard, they are resilient, and they are they are they are not uh, affected by disease. They don't have hip dysplasia complications. They are just tough dogs, tough, 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 good dogs. Yeah, so you can just wash them twice. Their coat is lean. They have very little coat. And uh, they even look more like Kinyeji if you look at them. But these, uh, these dogs are unique, pure breed lines. Yeah, and uh, if you're looking into getting one, I still uh, uh, tell you to be cautious enough because uh, uh, they're known to like, uh, uh, be highly active in terms of bite and uh, activity. So they'll chew, chew your cables. They will they will just destroy everything in the compound. As you can see my sufurias here are, turned, are, are, are cut to shreds. They're eating the sufurias up. Yes, uh, just because they feel they are idle. So you have to like, look for activity, give them a big kiwanja like here, they'll run and uh, try to socialize them. Socialization is very, very important. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, drive. Guys, we are at the big, big, big breeds corner. And over here we've got uh, Spencer and the husband called DJ. This, these two guys are St. Bernard's, they're mountain dogs. Uh, Mastiff, large breeds, family dogs. They are more of pet dogs. Uh, as you see, uh, they are friendly. They just want to slobber you with saliva. 
just play around and get excited. Spencer, hello girls. And the husband now. <laughs> so you see here uh, is a is a pair. Is a pair of two St. Bernards. Yeah, this is the male. I'm a teacher for Kidogo, don't worry about that. And uh, we intend to breed them uh, um, in the next five months. We'll have her puppies. She'll, she'll have had puppies because she's almost getting into heat. She's new here. She came here like uh, just late last year. But for this big guy, we've had him for the last three years. And he came here when he was, he was a year old. She's slightly older. And uh, I think she's four and a half. And she's never had puppies. Yeah, as you can see, they're just lovely dogs. They're just lovely dogs. They're pet dogs. They're just big and they're, yeah, they're caring and warm. Uh, I think the disadvantage will be the slobber. They just, <laughs> they slobber all over you and, uh, and they leave you uh, wet with the uh, saliva. Hey, DJ! Oh they're, not, they're not known to be aggressive as they are dull, docile, sleepy and chilled. Yeah, so the question is, uh, are these guys aggressive? We have had cases of where by Unaskia, uh, one, one uh, German Shepherd or another breed was attacked by these guys. Okay, let's compare size, uh, size and uh, size, mass, bite power and all that. So if, if the ordinary German Shepherd was trying to flex around and uh, maybe want to fight with such a dog, so the, the bite from this guy is more or less five times the strength of the bite of the German Shepherd. So the, the German Shepherd might be crushed completely. Uh, so uh, they are not aggressive, but when they turn out to be aggressive, they can be very, very dangerous. Uh, uh, considering that they are as big as the Caucasians, and we know how dangerous the Caucasians are, because they can bite through uh, wolves and bears and all that. So we, 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 we like them calm once again. Calm, family dog, just peaceful dog. Because even if an intruder was to come in and see this, guy, this kind of dog, uh, they don't need to hear them barking or get them attacked. They just see the size and they take off. Yeah, but for the cases whereby uh, there have been uh, uh, Kali dogs like this, uh, we we want to say that people need to be a little bit careful and uh, expose your dog to other dogs as early as possible. Socialize your dogs and uh, cut off any kind, any kind of aggression from your dog, even when they're small. Yeah, just let them know uh, their position, but don't let them grow up uh, aggressive or fierce or intimidating other guys or other dogs. Yeah. But for this case, these ones are good, yeah. And you can enjoy them in your house. So in the next maybe six months, any the viewers out there who are looking into getting one of these uh, lovely puppies, karibuni uh, sana. You get you get our contacts uh, right on the bottom of the screen. Thank you very much. So uh, over here, for the first time uh, in Red Hill Kennels. We imported our very first uh, Doberman female. Uh, she's an import from uh, from Europe, and uh, we got the connection from a friend who knows a friend. Yeah, she's elegant. She's simple. She's she knows her place, and she'll not bark at dogs at the cage. She knows her place, and uh, we've been socializing her. But she's growing very fast. She's very very long. She's uh, she's four months uh, heading to five months. Yeah, she's five months heading to four something because we got her when she was she was really really young. Cheso! Cheso! Yeah, and she'll do that. You can see the chest, drop of the chest. The, the head completely as sharp as that of Inakaka uh, Maya shark. The shark head, and they're highly intelligent. And uh, we didn't crop or dock her. As she came from the previous owners, they don't prefer doing that. I think back there they are not uh, doing that. So we intend uh, to like uh, get a registered good male and have puppies from her. 
So as we clock out, uh, our viewers, our fans out there, uh, be ready. Expect to see some new things, new stuff happening here as we'll have some mature uh, Dutch uh, breeding program and training program. We'll also be having this uh, Doberman for protection dog services and all that. Personal protection especially because uh, they're, they're a bit expensive and for using them as, a, as company guard dogs they tend to be uh, more pricey. But our our clients who are looking into getting these dogs are more of uh, family guys. They want an elegant, uh, strong, long, large, fierce and confident dog. Yeah, so this is just for a special few. And they are a bit pricey. I won't mention the price. But yeah, if you're looking into getting one, uh, we say give us like uh, next year. Uh, she'll probably be having her, her first litter. Uh, it could be chocolate Labrador, uh, Doberman, sorry, they could be the uh, the black and tan. Uh, we'll just wait and see. Yeah, there she is, Cheso. Cheso. Until next time, kindly subscribe to Dog, Ch Dog TV Kenya, uh, Documentary TV Kenya, the best documentary TV for all dog lovers. Uh, follow us, share, uh, click the notification, uh, let your friends get to know and learn more about dogs from Kenya and uh, to share for for all who are out there all over the world east africa we're inviting you guys in uganda tanzania yeah we're inviting you guys in rwanda we're inviting you guys in nigeria yeah come follow us uh, travel and get to learn about dogs here in kenya and this has been daniel oigua from uh, red hill kennels and this is dog tv kenya thank you very much uh, our viewers and welcome back to dog tv kenya the best documentary channel for all dog lovers Karibu <laughs> sana. Hello guys, this is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary uh, channel for all dog lovers. This is Dog TV Kenya. Uh, good morning viewers. This is Dog TV Kenya. Uh, hello guys, this is Dog TV Kenya. Hello guys, this is Dog TV Kenya. Hello guys, hello viewers. Hello guys. Hello guys. Welcome again. Mm. Hello. Oh, hello viewers. Hello guys. Hello guys. Welcome again. Hello guys and welcome again. This is Dog TV Kenya for the best documentary uh, dog. Uh. <laughs> hello viewers. This is Dog TV Kenya for all. Okay. Hello viewers. This is Dog TV Kenya. For the best documentary, dog documentary, hey, best, do, best documentary channel for dog, for all best dog documentary life. channel for dog. Hello, viewers, welcome again to Dog TV Kenya. This documentary channel for dog lovers. Karibu.